Hi everyone, this is Kelsey, the Digital Librarian at Riverhead Free Library. Today I'm going to go over um, how to use some of the databases on our website. So I am going to go over, I think it's about five, let's go to the next slide, yeah. So we're going to go over uh, quite a few. Um, these are some of the ones that I feel would be very interesting for some people and be would be the most useful. So Canopy, which is a platform that you can use for different movies and documentaries. You can watch American movies and documentaries as well as foreign films. Universal Class is a database that is really useful for developing skills, continuing education for your field, and so forth. Flipster is a great um, platform for magazines. You can access them online on your tablet, on your phone, computer, you name it. Um, for those who are looking um, to work on their cars or look to find a solution to something happening with their car, Auto Repair Source is a great tool. Um, you wouldn't really need your manual or, you know, go to the library and find the book because you can find it all right here. Um, Pronunciator, ooh, I butchered that, <laughs> is a platform that you can use um, for when you're learning a new language. So I'm going to um, exit this slide and we're going to head over to the Riverhead Library website. So here we are and we can access a lot of these different resources um, right on the main screen. So when you go to download, you see some things pop up. Overdrive, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, RB Digital, which is for more ebooks and audiobooks. Flipster, which is what we're going to go over, and Canopy, which is nothing we're going to go over. But it's, before we do that, we're going to hover over Research. And when you go to Databases A through Z, this is where you can go to find most of our databases. So when we click on it and we scroll down, all of our databases will be under alphabetical order. And you can also see where it's available from anywhere, as well as the ones that are only available inside the library. So now that we have that all settled, we're going to start with Canopy. So this is Canopy. All you would have to do is sign in with your library card. Um, you can click on the Canopy link right on our website, and um, you can see here Sesame Street's here. Um, credit for you viewing, uh, let's see if we can scroll down, some new movies that have been added, um, new documentaries, things that are trending, and the Mariel, the Great Courses, which is um, a great tool for a lot of different people um, if you are interested. It is um, lectures and work that you can do for learning. Uh, you know, the Irish identity, the Irish Renaissance, sustainable living. We also have the great courses right in our library. We do have a display up, so when we do reopen, you can definitely go over there and check it out. Uh, we do have a lot of them in the physical copies. And so Canopy is a great source, so if you um, are familiar with Netflix or if you watch Cut the Cord, Canopy is a great tool. It's very similar to the other um, platforms that you can use. All right. Um, and all you would have to do, I believe, is just click on one of the videos. Let's go to the man who invented Christmas for sure. Let's go to watch, and I believe it would just start when you hit play. And these are other related videos. If there, if you did like this, you know, um, these would be things that would be similar. Um, or you can see what people have also watched, as well as comments that people have um, written out for you to see if maybe it was something that you would like to watch. Okay, so next we're going to go to Universal Class, which again, you would just sign on with your library card um, and probably your PIN. So here you can find a whole bunch of different classes. You can find some if there are any that you know of. These are some that I've taken. So, for example, let's go with typing. So we have typing and keyboard 101, creative writing, Microsoft Word. So you can just click right on the one that you want and then join the course. It tells you how many lessons, exams, and assignments, the average time that it would take, and the credits that you would get. 
the average time and hours can vary depending on, you know, how fast of a reader you are, how uh, quickly you take tests, you know, things like that. So this is just an average time. It's not all set in stone. So you can go to my courses and you can just look for a whole bunch of different ones. Here are some that are um, sectioned off for you. So if you want to do something with history, there are 30 classes for that. If you like crafts and hobbies, there are 70. There's a whole bunch of different stuff on here. I think it's really great for a lot of people um, to just get on, learn, and have fun during this time that we are all quarantined. There's also pet and animal care, which I like. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to scroll up and just show you when we go to my classes. Right now, I don't have any on here, um, but I am going to be registering soon. Just wanted this to be um, open and available so you guys can see what it would look like for you. So on the side, we have classes, the achievements that you would have, your profile and contacts. Your inbox will be um, something that you go to quite often. When you take a class, you take a quiz, and when you have it graded, you're going to go to your inbox and it will show you what you received on your, your quiz. So if you want to take a course, you click I want to take a course and it'll bring you right to your course catalog. All right. So this is something that I would highly recommend going into, playing around with, seeing if it's something that you would like. Next, we're going to go to Flipster. Flipster is another great tool for you guys um, to just log on with your library card. For those who really like to look through magazines or um, need to do a project or anything, I definitely highly recommend this. There are a whole bunch of different um, categories. So on the side, on the left hand side, we have all these different categories that you can go through. There's teens, sports, Spanish, um, fitness, fashion, automotive. There's so many. So I'm just going to click on this virtual right one to show you guys. And it opens up into a new window for you. And it just loads. It'll take a minute or two, but you can just skim on through. You can also on the right hand side print. You can see the pages in a different way. Um, you can also click on which ones you would want. You can also zoom it in if it is too small for you. Uh, or if it's too big, you can make it small. Ooh, cinnamon roll pigs in a blanket. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, so that is Flipster. I think it is Really cool if you want to take a break from reading ebooks or listening um, to audiobooks. Um, magazines are another great um, thing to do. And, you know, there's gardening, do it yourself, archaeology. There's a whole bunch of different things you can look through here. Next, we have the auto repair source, which I think would be really key to a lot of people who are working on cars or, you know, have noticed something wrong with our car or, you know, something not quite right. So we would just click, we would log on with our library card and then click on auto repair source. And it would bring us to this window. So all you would have to do is type in all, well, not, well, you would select, I guess, your car. So I'm going to go with random cars. Um, let's go with a Ford. I don't know. I'm not the best with cars, but I'm just randomly choosing. Okay, so on the side, on the left-hand side, you see airbags, air conditioning, anti-theft, battery replacement. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. So I'm just going to go with, um, AC. So let's go with the coin fan. So here would be um, all the steps for how to replace your cooling fan. You can print it. Um, you can do it with the images, with just text and so forth. It gives you everything that you would need. And then I believe this is the photo, which might be a little hard to see. But again, you can just print it out. You can make it as big as you would like. You can do this for any car that you have. Um, or something that you're looking into, see if it's something that you would like. Um, this is a great source that I feel goes unnoticed quite often. And lastly, we have pronunciator, which I'm still having a hard time pronouncing. <laughs> so 
So this is a great um, tool to use if you are looking to learn a language. So I speak English and I want to learn, oh wow, quite a lot. So let's see, what do I want to learn today? I want to learn, let's go Irish, just for the fun of it. So here you would have different personalized courses, main course, or learning guides and more. These are different um, sections for you to go through. You can create a course, you can learn something guided, or go off the beam path, or go through an eight course, so early learners. And you would just go through the whole thing. Whoops. Um, it would read to you <laughs> as it's doing now. Um, and you would just go through each one until you feel comfortable. And that's all there is to it. So again, everything is really simple to and easy to find right on our website. You can just hover over download and research for all of um, the things that we went over today. There are also, you know, brain views, research tips if you are um, wanting to learn more about researching. I'm going to click on that really fast. So that way you can all see that. So these are, these are all the different prompts that you can go through. Um, and there's more. There's a next for all your databases. So anything you know that you're interested in learning or how to um, advance your skills in researching, I would highly recommend this section as well. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to email me. My name is Kelsey. You can email me at askadultref at riverheadlibrary.org. And so that is it. Thank you guys for joining. Again, my name is Kelsey. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and until next time, guys. Bye.